compare con contrast essays. These are essays just like some of the other essays that we've learned about so far. We've learned about the narrative essay. The compare contrast is the next essay that we will learn. Some future essays we will look at are argumentative essays, process analyses essays. But as I said, today we're going to focus on the compare contrast essay. Ask yourself, what is a compare contrast essay? Well, basically what you look at in a compare contrast essay are similarities and differences between whatever differences it might be, between one whatever, thing uh, with one other, like two different things. You can compare three things. They get more complex, these essays, when you compare more than two items. But what would you compare in an essay, and why would you use an essay to do it? Well, you can compare things like cars you want to buy. These are actually, once you learn these, these techniques, um, using them um, to figure out what car you want to buy will really make you look at the choices objectively and make a better, more educated decision in many cases. So cars, you might be thinking about two different types of dogs or, or pets to get. And when you look at, again, in this, you know, in this essay structure, it, it, it allows you to weigh um, options a little more clearly. Um, uh, you might look at two different computers that you want to buy or, or even two different houses that you want to buy. And today we're going to really focus on that as our example. Or two different types of houses that we would want to buy are two different, ex two, exactly two different houses, not types. Using okay, we're going to look at these compare contrast essays. It, really what we're going to compare and contrast. And remember we looked at similarities and differences. They were the main things. Today we're going to talk about two different houses. The similarities could be price and style. Differences might be the location or floor space. But how do we go about writing these essays? Well, we can compare them either by items or compare them by the criteria, like price, location, and floor. Um, okay, now, how do we put this in an essay? How do we take this essay structure that we've learned, introduction, body, conclusion, and make a compare-contrast essay out of it? Um, it still has all of those those components that we talked about, an introduction that brings your readers into the discussion, whoever your readers might be. It might be um, someone specific like your family. It might be you know you, your spouse, your children. It might be a, a broader audience targeted. It might be an academic essay, so it's targeted academia, like a research paper. So all of the things that we've learned about audience we would use. Um, but we want to remember to bring that audience in. We still need a thesis statement because it is an essay. Remember, a thesis statement is one of the hallmarks of what an essay is. It's what's separated from before the narrative story from a narrative essay. Um, the body, you know, the structure, which we're going to go over in a moment in a lot of detail for the compare-contrast essay. And then the restatement and the conclusion once again. Um, the essay... Um, has a, you know intro thesis body conclusion with the restatement and the compare contrast essay is no different with that restatement. So let's go ahead and look at some of these structures and different ways to to write the essay. To compare them by the items, which are the two houses, we have you know our intro, house A. We talk about the price of house A, the location of house A, the floor space of house A. Then we discuss house B and then the same thing, price. Then we look at the location and the floor space, and then we have our conclusion at the end. Now, another structure to write this compare-contrast essay would be to compare by the criteria to use the price, location, and floor space to actually structure it. So we have price, then we talk about house A and house B. Then we have location, again, house A and house B. Now, these could either be separate paragraphs, or these could both be in the same paragraph, depending on the length. Then floor space house A and house B, and then your conclusion again at the end really depends on how long your paper should be or how deep you want to go into the comparison. Now we want to ask ourselves, why do we write these? Um, uh, we talked a little bit about, at the beginning, about you know two cars that I might want to buy, two pets, but in, 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 a, in a classroom, in an academic setting, in your other classes other than English that you take, what kind of things would you compare? It might be two theories, um, two different opposing theories, whether it be in a physics class, um, an English class, uh, you know, an operating systems class, a network class, two different, you know, things, two different theories about those. It might specifically be two different operating systems that you're trying to compare. It might be two different mathematicians that you you just want to see how they look at things differently. Again, remember, it's similarities and differences. So let's, you know, look at some of these uh, similarities and differences. What is your purpose for writing a thesis, um, or what is your purpose or thesis statement? So what should my thesis statement look like? Well, here are a couple ideas. 
Even though there are many similarities between the houses on 5th and 6th Street, the floor space that the one on 6th Street has makes it the best choice for a big family. So for a big family, we're comparing the 5th and 6th Street homes. If future growth potential is the goal of our company, then the benefits of making the initial small investment outlined in Budget A far outweigh those small financial savings in the short term indicated in Budget B. So here are a couple ideas. Um, now, we've gone through this. We, we've learned a little bit about why we write compare contrast essays, what they are, what, what what's incorporated in them, the similarities and differences between two things. We've looked at you know writing by item or writing by the criteria that we compare those items by, um, and it, that's you know some of the reasons why some of the thesis statements that we might have or, or purposes behind writing those. And I hope that you've got a, a little bit better understanding now of what they are so that you can actually sit down and begin pre-writing. You know, the first step to beginning one of these is the same in, in, in every essay that we talked about when we talked about process. You start pre-writing to get an idea. You come up with a couple things to write about. Then you start looking at the similarities and differences. And then you start to get your criteria. Are there, you know, three similarities and two differences, two similarities and one difference? You might have a whole bunch of similarities and a whole bunch of differences, but you, they might fit into specific categories like, things that might have to do with budget or cost. You might have three or four different things. Things that have to do with location, maybe not location itself, but, you know, location, you know, in the country versus location in the city. Um, you know, and that might have to do with schools and other things that you could combine. So when you put these things down on paper, then you start to get one of those outlines like we looked at earlier, and you have somewhere to begin writing this compared contrast essay. Next time, we will be looking at the process analysis essay. Thank you.